Good morning, everybody, and welcome. I'm Bill Lakeboff, Executive Director of the Ohio Historical Society, and it's my privilege to welcome you to the Ohio Historical Center for this very special event this morning. I also want to extend a warm welcome to Bob Mar Marvin, a.k.a. Flippo the Clown, <laughs> Chuck White, and several other executives and staff from WBMS, friends and fans of Flippo, and OHS staff members who are here. Thank you all for coming. We appreciate it very much. OHS is really honored uh, today to add to its collection several, several very distinctive and historically significant items from Bob Marvin, who we all know much better as Flippo, the king of the clowns. Flippo's costume, which symbolizes his 31-year television career, adds humor, depth, and character to our collections relating to the 20th century. We continue to document this recent period of our state's history, and thanks to Bob Marvin, we've taken an important and I think a fun step in that direction. Bob has agreed to transfer the ownership of several items to the Ohio Historical Society, among them, Flippo's costume, including those distinctive red, white, and blue leather shoes with the white stars on the blue toes, his makeup, a hat, many photographs, a scrapbook, and other documentation of his work. The costume and several other items will be on exhibit here at the Ohio Historical Center Museum through June 2006. And I'm pleased to announce this morning that on January 5th, at 7 p.m., that's a Thursday, Thursday, January 5th, 7 p.m., we will have a Flippo Appreciation Night with Bob Marvin, Flippo's best friend. That is the eve of Bob Marvin's 79th birthday. Thursday, January 5th, 7 p.m. Before Bob and I sign some paperwork and unveil our newest exhibit, I'd like to introduce Chuck White, who's the Public Affairs Director of WBNS-TV. Chuck, thanks for your when Kathy Hope asked me to say a few words this morning on this momentous occasion, I was not only delighted but proud as the man whom we're honoring through his generous donation of the King of Clowns costume is not only a former co-worker, he's also a friend who is a television icon and someone with whom I spent many hours in my youth. Bob Marvin, a.k.a. Flippo the Clown, entertained kids and adults alike for over 30 years Children loved him because he was a funny clown. However, he was equally loved by adults, as his humor usually had a double entendre, which may have escaped the notice of listening children, but never got past the funny bone of adults who would howl with laughter, as his banter was ageless. The donation of his costume, which he literally brought to life, is symbolic of the generosity and a reverence for the early days of television, which was the foundation upon which modern-day television broadcasting was built. I am deeply honored to have been asked to participate in this ceremony and to be a part of this significant moment in television history. Flippo, you will forever be in the hearts of all who had the pleasure of working with you and watching you and getting to know you in the early years of television. We thank you for having made an indelible mark on the annals of television history. Long live the King of Clouds. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. We appreciate it.
But uh, I was singing and playing my horn at the Neil House, which is no longer with And uh, some nice fellows were sitting at the table having dinner while I'm playing my horn and my own fat dumb and happy. You know, I was skinny then. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, anyway, they asked me over for a drink. And then that kind of blew all the way. And so my gratitude goes out to all these people. You, you both in the in the hobby, they're hysterical to thank. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I was going to slip into that one of these. <laughs> but my folks always thought I did the individual eyes. They were like, <laughs> I'm sure. As you could be with us, then you have to be. And uh, then you say, see, I told you you'd be able to fly. <laughs> but I can't, uh, we can't express uh, my gratitude towards the allowed And all the people, all these people here, I mean, we don't have an audience here. They're all tortured uh, and impressed. Is this the paparazzi? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should I start with <laughs> So thank you. Thank you to all the people here in the audience circle tonight. And thank you very much, Pat. And uh, with that, and for the double take, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> thank you very much. We love you, Flippa. Well, we appreciate very much uh, the donations that you've made to the Historical Society, and you're also giving us a sample of your infectious humor today as well. It's our job to collect, preserve, and interpret Ohio's history for the people of the state of Ohio, and you and Flippo are a very important part of that, so we appreciate very much the donation you've made. Thank, thank you. you very much. Our pleasure. Words can't express my Thank you. Bob, thank you. Chuck, thank you for joining us today. And thank you all for being with us for this momentous occasion. Thank you, and have a good time. Thank you.